Hey there, Big Daddy with a video on Maui 1 called Aurora. It is running KDE Plasma 5.7. Uh, this is the first video that I'm going to make on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you around the desktop and then I'm going to update and make a few changes and then show you. Hopefully it goes through with 5.8. But right now, it is running 5.7 plasma and 4.4 kernel. So the one problem I've had so far with it is that it didn't pick up my monitors the right way. I have dual monitors, so um, it. I wanted this one that you're looking at to be my primary monitor, but the panel, if I make it the primary monitor, the screen goes black and it's unusable. It's, you can't right click on it, you can't do anything. So I have to leave this as my secondary monitor so you can see the wallpaper and have the, I move the panel over. So um, by default, they have the full screen launcher as the main uh, application launcher, which is okay. Um, they also come with a few alternatives just like the other KDE, Plasma 5s, but it also comes with a fourth option, which is called Simple Menu, which I've tried to get this installed on my KDE Neon, which I run daily, and I just can't seem to get it installed there. It just won't work. But either way, this is what it looks like. It's a nice little quick menu. Um, it says all applications here, and I guess that's if you search, it'll search all applications, but it is actually showing you what is added to the favorites. So more you add to the favorites, say we add, uh, I don't know, VLC to the favorites. Um, wow, there's a bug. Hey, look at that. My other desktop came alive. Can you believe it? That's amazing. Like in real time, too. <laughs> Obviously, you can't see it, but Hey, at least you can right click on this side. That's now you can right click on both sides. Man, this is great. Anyway, um, <laughs> if you, let's do this again here. Let's right click on here and hit add to favorites. And then you come up here and you're on all applications. And so this is your favorites spot. So this is where they're going to, it reminds me of the slingshot um, launcher, which I, I really liked, um, and I think this is, is actually a little bit better than the default ones that come with KDE. Um, so you have your your uh, categories, and you have your that's all you need. But most of all, your favorites are like right in the middle where they're supposed to be. So that's a good thing. Uh, I did notice that when we do update, though, I had installed Maui before, and when I updated, uh, the text, the categories flipped over to the right-hand side, I believe it is. Was I guess they had a little update to it, and uh, they changed it around a little bit. But either way, it works the same. Um, so they did customize this. They did install certain software like Steam for gaming. Uh, they opted for Firefox and Thunderbird for the email instead of Kmail. Uh, they installed Gmusic Browser, which I would assume that they're trying to go for. Uh, I know that's not a Qt app, but it's it's a uh, it's a very customizable music player. It's probably one of the most customizable music players out there. And maybe that's what they were going for, seeing how KDE Plasma is the most customizable. I'm going to assume. And that's just the way it is. Okay, so uh, they did install the SUSE Writer. And that is probably one of the best, in my opinion, uh, best USB writers out there. Uh, it has never failed when I have I have used uh, quite a few different ones uh, UNet Putin and the one that comes with Linux Mint and a couple of the other ones and once in a while they'll have problems I've used Rosa but SUSE Studio has never failed writing a USB for me and I've never had any errors on it so I usually 
when I can, I usually use that. All right, so you got your panel, which is normal. You have a little notification here menu, which I don't believe you have in the regular plasma. Um, you have a shortcut for the drop down terminal. And that's pretty much, I mean, I know that they use, um, let's see here for, let's, let's just go into the settings and take a peek around, but they do use Synaptic for the package manager. They don't install Muon. Basically the idea it's that Maui is, is they took, this is my opinion now, they took things that weren't working in 5.7, like the Discover and a couple of the other ones that weren't quite perfected and they replaced them with things that were more solid, more stable. So you have Synaptic, so it's not the most graphical, uh, beautiful interface around, but it works. You have the, basically it's the Mint Update Manager and it it runs just like Mint. It has the uh, categories for the um, how you want to update one, two, three, four, fives. Obviously, the fives aren't going to be installed unless you check them. But there's no issues with it. It's a stable update center, so that's a good thing. Um, let's dive into the settings here. They're pretty much the generic settings that you come with KDE. Um, but this is the, like I said, this is the default look of what comes with it. So this is what you're going to get. These are the window borders, um, the theme. This is exactly what's going to happen. Now you did see the wallpaper before it switched over, before I had that nice, beautiful mechanical error there. Um, you did see the wallpaper and uh, it, I mean, obviously I'm going to change a few things if I'm going to run this. So I'm not keeping the default wallpaper. Or I'm not keeping the default theme, but um, it's a uh, it's a pretty decent idea for an operating system. So it's based on KDE Neon. I did say Ubuntu earlier, didn't I? But it's not really. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's based on KDE Neon. So you're going to get the latest Plasma updates, which I'm going to update here in a few seconds and get the latest 5.8 installed. But it also takes out things that uh, or uses, utilizes things differently for things that don't actually work 100% with Plasma. So all in all, it's a good thing. So I'm going to end this right now rather than me rambling on about stupid stuff. And I'm going to install the updates and maybe make a few changes and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Big Daddy, out.